Ah, well, greetings, family, friends, and co-workers, and even people I don't know very well, because I, I send you greetings because that's the kind of mood I'm in, and that's the kind of guy I am. Well, maybe not. Maybe it's just a mood thing, but uh, there it is anyway. So, um, yes, it's another day, and it's another lighting setup. This one's a little bit, um, a little similar to uh, previous ones. The only difference would be the color temperature, which is at a complete tungsten setting, which is 3200 Kelvin. And it's a very unique look. I'm looking at myself, if you couldn't tell. And uh, yeah, very warm, very warm with this, uh, with this color. So anyway, there's probably some daylight bleeding through the window, but yeah, you can't really even tell. Uh, anyway, um, I'm not even sure what I want to talk about today, but um, all right, um, there was work, you know, work. Um, yeah, that's about all I have to say about that. Although what was interesting today was that uh, it seems like it's public knowledge now, so I don't think I'm leaking anything, that um, our, our company, our pharmacy, had tried to acquire a competitor. And uh, they had put in an offer, and apparently it was rejected by the, the board, and they took it to the stockholders, and... Um, Apparently, some of them approved it, but the FTC, the Federal Trade Commission, stepped in, sued, and blocked the sale. So, um, apparently, there was uh, fears of monopoly happening within our, within our company. So, um, it makes sense because the, uh, they, they did the same thing, I think, a little while ago to AT&T, blocking them from buying T-Mobile. But um, I think that's who tried to do it. But, anyway, I mean... What are you going to do? You know, I mean, um, some people are just trying to get more rich and some people are just trying to hold on to their jobs. I think I'm the latter. Anyway, uh, moving right along there, um, there was, um, uh, let's see. Oh, 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 there was another opportunity that had come up. It was, um, I had told you about a play, a playwright that I was friends with that had offered me a part. I Still really haven't even looked at his script yet. Sorry, Tom, I'll, I'll get to that. But um, somebody else had asked, you know, about uh, having me audition with them to to participate in another show, which uh, it, <laughs> I tell you, I love acting, love being in plays. Um, it, it, it just makes the to choices tougher, you know, because now there's, you know, it, it's another good play. It's a good role. Um I got somebody else that um, you know wants me to be in their show. I kind of been looking to just step back and not, you know, do plays for a while because the travel, the travel is is kind of uh, it's taxing on me because it uh, not only does it cost a lot but it's uh, it requires a great deal of my life to go and do that sort of thing. So more decisions to make that are going to not be very easy at all. Um, Anyway, speaking about acting, the Oscars are coming up this weekend, which is kind of exciting. I think it's a it's a fun show to watch. They've they probably have the largest budget of any award show that you'll see, so they usually or should be the best that there is to offer. Um, and I was particularly excited this year because well, I like Billy Crystal and all. You know what I mean? He was a good host in his time, and he's he's a little bit long in the tooth now, as they would say. And I mean, it's still I saw a little promo with him you know, doing something for the award show. And you still got that same type of humor, but it doesn't seem as quick and witty anymore. I don't know what it is. I, I, I'm willing to give him a chance. I like the guy. I liked a lot of his movies, and, you know, I think he's good. But I was particularly happy because um, there's a documentary that is being... Um, it's up for an award, I think. It's, up, up, it's an HBO documentary up for an award, and in it is a specific, the, the, the piece is called um, God is Larger Than Elvis or, or something like that. And the nun in it is somebody who was my first crush, my first, one of my first movie crushes when I was uh, much younger. I grew up watching Elvis movies and this girl was in two of my favorites of it. Only his early, early movies were really good, okay? I mean, this is the, the Loving You, the Jailhouse Rock, the, uh, the King Creole. These movies were really good Elvis movies, if you haven't seen them. Then he went to the war, and then, well, I should say, he went into the army, Korea, didn't really see any action, but um, came back, and then they kind of had like this little canned... I mean, some of the movies were good after, but not really. 
And um, those three were very good. And I really liked this girl in it. Her name was Dolores Hart. And she's she's 73 years old now, and she's going to be um, honored at the... Uh, at the uh, awards Oscars this year and it's kind of exciting I mean she's 73 so she's probably not gonna look like she did when she was this young beautiful woman who just was wholesome and I just loved I the what I don't know what it was about her her looks her face the way she spoke everything about her was just so oh but yeah, I just okay I'm not even gonna go there because that's uh, that's probably too much information for you guys but um, yes she's gonna be there and it's it's quite exciting for me yeah so anyway, um, I don't know what else. The weekend's coming up. Um, I have to get up tonight. I have to get up tonight and go do a show up in North Conway. So I'm not going to get much sleep. I need to get some sleep here and wake up and drive to North Conway to do a show and then drive to work, to work all night, come back home, get some more sleep, and then drive back up to North Conway. So. Yeah, it's going to be a little bit of a long weekend, but I have co-workers that are coming up to see me this weekend, and that part is exciting. Um, it's hard to express how appreciative I am because it's, um, you know, I mean, it's it's always a nice thing. I mean, I've, there's, I've had a few other co-workers, you know, have come to see my shows in the past, and it's always, uh, it's really nice that, you know, people that, you know, it's, it's a good show of friendship, you know, and... Um, it's exciting to see, I mean, like, as an actor, as a performer, you kind of like to do it for your friends, you know? I mean, you don't want to do it all the time, but, you know, it's going to be nice. It's going to be nice to see them, hang out with them, and have them see me participate in something that I've done for a long time that is a part of me and that I really love doing. So the show is a little bit harsh, but uh, maybe they'll see past that. We'll soon find out. Anyway, I hope everybody is uh, gearing up for a wonderful weekend, and um, I'm sure I'll talk to some of you soon.